Good afternoon, everybody. We are going on a nice little ride. The missus wants to find out how to get to work on her bike. So we are uh, ugh, throwing everything everywhere. We are uh, going for a little road trip. So you can see how far it is. And we're taking Penny out today. We have not ridden Penny for absolutely ages. For almost a year, about 10 months, nine, 10 months, really. Because uh, we had to do an engine change. And off we go. <coughs> A big old girl, Penny is 1100cc at 100 horsepower V4. This is 1991. So we're heading to Fairham to Whiteley. Our right, new job is. Via non motorway. Charm a new GoPro chin mount as well, my new helmet. <coughs> she may be an old girl, but she's a good girl, and the bike ain't bad either. And it's only because the water pump bare and failed that uh, threw the timing belt off and done the engine. Got the other engine in the shed, which we're doing a rebuild of. The, uh, <coughs> if it's not already up on the channel, it will be up on the channel shortly. That's going to be done over a few months because there's going to be almost £200 alone in the gaskets. Then about another hundred pounds in the valves. And about another hundred pounds in the belts and rollers. So yeah. So my tea's due next couple of weeks. So Penny should be good for the MOT. Rebuilt the brakes. New brake light switch on there. Everything's working good. And the CB 350's got an MOT due as well next week. That just needs a bit of tweaking. <coughs> and uh, yeah, should be good. And all the insurances are due as well, which is annoying. Everything's due in the same month. <coughs> so I may postpone the insurance for Penny till end of May. <coughs> and. Uh, Spread it out a little bit. We'll see. So definitely we'll be getting Penny MOT'd probably till the end of May or mid-May maybe. Now Penny, so I've done two tours of Ireland on her, a few tours of Wales, and a tour of Scotland. Well too many issues. The only issue I had was my first tour of Wales and Ireland gets to Dublin and the clutch overheated or the clutch fluid overheated and I lost the clutch riding through Dublin which was not fun. But once we were in the cool air the clutch came back and it was fine the rest of the trip no issues. So I just fitted a braided clutch hose, new fluid, rebuilt the clutch lay cylinder. She's been good as gold ever since on the clutch front. And that's going to be the longest run since the engine's been in. I've done 33 miles or 30 miles. Test ride. I want to put the engine in just to make sure it's all good. <coughs> so this is going to be about an 80 mile trip today, round trip.
Oh. Okay, don't want to do that. <coughs> you okay, babe? <sighs> I think you're all right. <laughs> Okay. You need a new clutch lever. Yeah, snaps. Well, bent. Uh, let me get up. Let's get over here. Wheelie though. <laughs> well, I put your stand down. I'll go get my bike. So, what did I do wrong? I don't know because I didn't see what you were doing. Glad that you got those trousers on now. Yeah. <laughs> I think I popped my clutch when I didn't mean to. Yeah. So I let my clutch out. Too fast. Yeah. What's leaking? Have you smashed it? No, I think it's not the lid. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Sewer, I respect. <laughs> You you need a new foot peg. You bent your foot peg. Oh, luckily you didn't do any damage to her car. I don't think I actually hit her car. You hit her car. I didn't hit it at speed though, it's already stopping. You got a scratch on there. I think I hit her with that, yeah? Yeah, probably. So, and it was a dance and blow. I'm hoping I've got that on video. Pardon? I've got that on video as well, so you've got to watch it back later. I don't, I don't know if I can either. Oh, I don't. Yeah, you're good now. Pardon? You're good now. I've got the foot plate. You okay? Yeah. Cool. You what? Yeah. How's the foot on the left? Is it a bit awkward or is it all right? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> we'll leave it like it then. Oh, something called an ambulance for you.
Right, the pan broke down. Took the solar pan off. The nice gentleman stopped. Give us some tools, got the solar pan off, and the fuse is melted. So we've just podged it together with a spare fuse and twisted it together. So hopefully, this will be the last eventful thing of today. Just need to get the seat back on, get the hammer back on, get her back on, and get going. And yeah, a couple of breakdowns. Wheelie and the fall into the back of the car for her. Three down to me, my main fuse melted. So yeah, all fun and games. So now we're on the way back to home. Hopefully you can hear me through the grid because uh, my wife went on to get to my phone. Well, we died again. So yeah, probably this time because the battery's gone flat. So I think the wires come off the rectifier. Um, yeah, it's firing. Uh, battery's now flat. Can't start. So, yeah, fun times. Thank you for the recovery. She's died again. Electrical fault again. I think the rectifier was the issue, which caused the main fuse to melt because the battery's not been charging because the battery is completely dead now. And she started firing on three cylinders. So, yeah, I'm waiting for recovery now. So, yeah, so we've got to find out why she's running on three cylinders and sort out regular rectifier on the bike as well. So fun times.